Don't worry, I'll be quick about it. A few weeks ago, I went to South Korea to meet with the development team behind Player Unknown's Battlegrounds and walked away with brand new details on the upcoming 1.0 full product release for PUBG. And now it's time to share those exclusive details with you. Take a look. Hi, it's Larry here of Xbox Live's Major Nelson. For the past eight months, the Xbox Game Preview program has embraced a game near and dear to my heart. But let's be honest, there's been some unpredictability, some ups and some downs. We've celebrated incredible victories and we've had some brutal defeats. We've also had some incredible spontaneous moments that bring this game to life. I am of course talking about Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Everywhere I look, the team is focused. They're hard at work on all facets of PUBG, pouring over community feedback, testing new builds, creating brand new content. And before I interrupt that flow, I thought I'd take a minute to poke around the studio and maybe enjoy a cappuccino, make off with a little swag, including a custom level three helmet. Now only available in supply crates, mind you, and you had to know the slogan for the cafeteria was going to be on point. And how about that? Perfect for a little jet lag recovery. But I didn't come all this way to PUBG Corporation in Seoul, South Korea, just to poke around the studio. I wanted to know about the journey. From a little known battle royale experiment a year and a half ago to global phenomenon, and then, on to Xbox Game Preview, and just around the corner, 1.0 for Xbox One. It's been an incredible journey for the team and for the fans. And where better to start than the very beginning? Mark? I was nerve wracking, like really. I mean, we, I was always hesitant about going into early access just because it leads to questions and there's been some games that haven't really done well. So. When we had our beta beforehand, we really wanted to lock down the, the quality of the build, so at least the build we were releasing was pretty good. And that final week of the beta, I was watching some streamers play, and they were having a good time. There was no major bugs, it all seemed to be pretty stable. So at that stage, I got a little bit excited. I was like, okay, this looks like we could have a good launch, and we did. I'm like almost speechless just even thinking about that moment. After its incredible success on PC, the team announced plans for PUBG on Xbox One at E3 2017. Readying the game for a platform the team had never worked on before was audacious and a massive challenge. 일단은 Xbox로 가져오는 것에 대한 결정 자체도 어려. You know, bringing a a massive open world with 100 player PvP to, to Xbox is not something that's really been done before, so that alone was a challenge. When we've tried to have the game that runs on PC into Xbox, um, it was pretty difficult having it run smoothly. In order to enable um, their development schedule, we applied advanced technical group resources from within Xbox to help with things like user research and usability, as well as optimizing art code and providing some controller feedback to enable the transition from mouse and keyboard, which is very complicated, over to controller. You know, the upside is that we're currently, you know, north of 18 patches. The downside is that we're currently north of 18 patches, but we've seen great improvement overall. You know, everything from, from performance to analog controls to the addition of Miramar, it's been a very special ride. Like you can look back um, every couple of weeks and see a meaningful improvement that's occurred in the game. And it's, that's impactful when you see that in just short, you know, in, in a relatively short amount of time, the drastic improvement that this game has made. 
After launch on the game preview, PUBG on Xbox One was in the hands of two equally passionate teams, the developers and the fans. I've always wanted to work for a team that builds a product by listening to their customer base, and it is what we have done from day one. I try to have every wording of the community literally, like even if it's swearing words, I just send it straight away. 네, 어떤 피드백이나 뭐 그것이 사랑이 됐던 질책이 됐던 간에 굉장히 가깝게 경험한 어떤 그런 개발자로서의 경험. 디테일한 걸 듣기를 원하시고 또 글을 통해서 좀 이해하고 싶어 하시는 것 같아요. 왜안 되는지. 좋은 피드백, 나쁜 피드백, 중립적인 피드백, 뭐 되게 좋은 의견들 이런 걸다 수집해서 리포트를 수집해서 보거든요. So we know what, um, if we're on the right path and it has accelerated our development. 긍정적인 영향을 끼치죠. 네. 유저 피드백을 확인하고 그들의 의견을 듣는 것 자체는 거의 온라인 게임에서 필수적인 요소 같아요. 네. Like why wouldn't you want to build something that your customers want to see? It's so rewarding when you see players go, "Oh, I provided that feedback. I wanted that. I wanted to see the feature in PUBG, and now they worked uh, to implement that in the game. That's really cool." And we've got a great roadmap that continues to deliver against um, our promise of of a 1.0 experience. Rapidly iterating PUBG and Xbox game preview with the fans is all leading to its 1.0 full product release on September 4th. Of course, the launch for 1.0 is just another different beginning. You know, it doesn't mean development stops. You know, it means that we sort of, uh, we consider the game more or less feature complete. The, 저희... 저희 게임 자체가 배틀그라운드라는 게임 자체가 온라인 게임이기 때문에 뭐 이걸로 끝나는 건 아니고 계속적으로 업그레이드가 되어갈 텐데 하여튼 요 단계를 거치면서 어쨌든 그래도 기본은 됐다. 는 PC의 콘텐츠들이 가능한 가장 빠른 시간 내에 엑스박스 유저분들도 즐길 수 있도록 저희가 노력을 많이 하겠습니다. We're really looking forward to things like custom matches and Sandhawk, all creating this, you know, larger PUBG experience that we feel really delivers against the promise that was made in December. In addition to a significantly improved overall experience for 1.0, new and existing players can look forward to playing the Sandhawk map, the ability to configure custom matches, including war mode, and of course, achievements, which will carry over from the Xbox game preview period. It's gonna feel like a different game if you wanna compare it to December and 1.0. The dedication of the PUBG team is on display everywhere in the studio. But sometimes you need to just play. You have to remind yourself of what you're working so hard for. That's why every Friday, the team takes part in what they term simply Play Day. Whether they're testing a new map, set of features, or brand new content on Xbox, PC, or mobile, you can feel the team shake off the stresses of development and settle in for some good, old-fashioned, winner-winner chicken dinner competition. Whether it's the art team, console team, testers, or human resources, the battle royale begins. Soon, defeated teammates are gathering around their favorite dev, rooting them on. Screams, laughter, joy, and catastrophe. It's all there. You know, I'm thinking of taking this play day thing back home to Xbox. It's been a tremendous pleasure to see the team and see the passion for the game and dedication to its community on full display. For the last six months, PUBG has been my go-to respite after a long day. I've played it more than any other game. It's about the moments, indelible memories that you brag or commiserate about with your friends. Sometimes it's the thrill of securing a hard-fought supply crate or ambushing some poor soul who thinks they found safety from a rival squad. It could be the raw tension and dread that spring from something as mundane as footsteps crunching the gravel outside or a door opening in a building I was sure I cleared. Or maybe it's the hilarity of a motorcycle biting it 
in a burst of high-speed overconfidence. Or, more rarely in my case than I'd like to admit, it is the sheer joyous adrenaline of victory earned in the crucible of the final blue zone against a desperate enemy eager for their own taste of chicken dinner. Few things in gaming taste sweeter. The allure of PUBG is in its unpredictability. Every drop is a fresh new adventure. And so whether falling gently with my parachute or falling gently into a quick nap with the hardworking team at PUBG, I'm confident I'm in great hands and I can only dream of one thing. <laughs>